Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the audio system demo of the 2021 Genesis GV80 and its 21 speaker, 1050 watt Lexicon audio system. It's gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, check out audio inputs, volume controls, all that good stuff. Check out how Android Auto and Apple CarPlay work on the system. Get out on the road, listen to some sample tracks while we're rolling. And I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the vehicle. This is the all new, very first SUV entrant from Genesis. Looking awesome here in this nice maroon purple. It's cool, striking, a little gaudy appearance. If you want to see more on the G70, we've got a bunch of content. We have a full review, highway fuel economy test, and a comparison between the BMW X5. The links to those will be in the description. So you always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the sound system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. And to control the system here, you can either use the touchscreen or this rotary dial. Generally, I prefer using the touchscreen, although it is a little far away and when I'm driving and doing simple maneuvers, I do like using the dial. However, the dial's not as good as an actual rotary knob, because of, and, and that's because you have to rotate on the outside but click with the inside, so it requires at least two different fingers, whereas a, a, just a big knob like Genesis used to have, you could use one solid motion. Anyway, sound settings. Let's go menu, sound settings. So you do have reference, audience, and on stage. Those are three different surround settings. Reference is kind of no artificial surround on stage. It's the most dramatic. Audience being in the middle. You have your standard front, rear, left, and right fader and balance. You can kind of move it all around you. Put it back in the center. Sound tune, you have treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those now. Other than those adjustments, you have some volume guidance adjustments, system volumes, that sort of thing. You also have an active sound design, which puts, which sets how much engine noise should come through, kind of fake artificial engine noise, and radio noise control, so how much you want kind of ambient noise to be blocked out, kind of a noise canceling. It is set to minimum noise reduction for factory default, so we'll leave it at that. But arguably, it says, does say right here, uh, full signal sound will probably sound the best, original sound, and then minimum noise reduction, maximum noise reduction. So in fact, I'll actually switch that to original sound. We'll get more of a pure listening experience. For audio inputs on the Genesis GV80, you do have quite a few. You have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, you have Bluetooth, USB-A with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support. And that is it. So what, is you, what are you missing? Well, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and you also don't have a disc player. Not too surprising here in 2020, but it would be nice to see for high fidelity audio. For volume controls, you have kind of a cool volume roller knob right here, as well as the same type of thing on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you can either use the touchscreen, the rotary dial, you can choose your tracks right here on the side as well. You can also use the steering wheel back and forth rocker or this little track rocker roller knob right there, mirroring the volume knob. So plenty of ways to do that. Speaker locations. As I said at the beginning, you do have 21 individual speakers. Let's go through them now. Here you start, you got one, two, three. Now I did confirm on the Genesis website, you have four, five, six, seven, eight, all there in the front, four larger speakers, and then one tiny tweeter. Nine, 10, 11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and I don't think we need to get in there. Eighteen, nineteen in the back, and your last two are actually woofers under the seats. So you can just barely see right there. You got twenty, twenty-one amplifier. It's in the back of the car. 
All right, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demonstrations. Now, it's a bit frustrating. You only have one data USB port in the GV80. It's a little low on USBs in general, no USB-C. So I do have to unplug my USB music and then plug in the CarPlay first. This phone has not been paired with this device. So we'll see how long setup takes. All right, so we see right away, pair with GV80. Click next on there, Apple CarPlay works best, blah, 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 blah. And there we have it, Apple CarPlay. I really like how it comes up on the screen here. You have your center Apple CarPlay display there, and then on the side you still have some Genesis apps. You got weather, what else can you do? Radio, navigation, calendar, and a clock. So I like the split screen design there, works really nicely. And Apple CarPlay, you can either use the rotary knob, go through here, select things, move around like that. You can even click, you can see you can do like click directional, or you can slide through, or just reach up and touch. All right, Android Auto. Not the easiest USB port to plug in. Kind of got to reach in there, very small hand like. There we are, we got our Android Auto prompts. Quick and launched. Now this is a bit frustrating. Android Auto does support a widescreen mode, but for some reason it's not coming up here on the Genesis like the way it does with Apple CarPlay. Now, I don't think that's my device. I should have the most recent version of Android Auto installed on here, so I would think that's the car. So you can see you've got this weird, if I bring up maps, you've got your Android Auto, but then you've got this weird blank screen that just says Android Auto, and then you have your Genesis screen over there. So that's a bit frustrating that they couldn't use full screen, widescreen Android Auto. Other than that, responsiveness works well. You can tell Android Auto doesn't look quite as good as Apple CarPlay, but that's not the car's fault. One last function I should point out that we have here is the sounds of nature that Hyundai's been providing. So there are some kind of goofy sound recordings of various scenes. A little gimmicky, but I could see some people maybe wanting to use them while, while you drive. You've got this warm fireplace, open air cafe, rainy day, calm sea waves, lively forest. And the strangest one, Snowy Village. So you see this on just about all new Hyundai Genesis products. It's just, it's a little goofy, but I suppose it's cool it exists. All right, let's get back to the music.
next song does a really good job at demonstrating all the different aspects of an audio system. It stresses the high ends, the low ends, how well the system can put out a lot of different power all at once. Let's take a listen. I think this system is a really good example of clarity and a good amount of power resulting in a satisfying audio system experience. The, the highest level of, of crispness and power isn't quite here. I'm talking like Mark Levinson and the GX460 just levels of, of oomph and, and every little snare hit coming through perfect. but. There's so much power, so many individual channels from the amplifier, should be 14 individual channels, that all the instruments are allowed their own spaces to make noise and to come through crisply, even when you turn the music up very high. For this next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up and see how the GV80 handles heavier bass songs. shakeage. I am feeling a lot of satisfying bass from under my seat because that is where there is a subwoofer, but it certainly doesn't have the immense power of some of the larger luxury SUVs that have subwoofers in the rear of the vehicle, really providing a whole vehicle vibration. So it's definitely good bass for mid-range bass, softer bass sounds coming through very crisp, but when you turn heavier bass up high, you do get a little bit of distortion, kind of that slap sensation. whether it's classical, talk radio, heavy rock, pop, it all sounds good. As I mentioned earlier, it is missing a little bit of that top tier of crispness and power that you do get from some of the best Mark Levinson, Bowers and Wilkins style systems. But nothing sounds bad, nothing comes through harsh, all the instruments are given their own spots. It, it would be nice to see a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, a few more USB ports, a slightly bit easier to use system, but it definitely holds its own. Subjectively speaking, given the value of the Genesis, the fact that this car only costs $63,000 compared to some of its much more expensive competitors, 
I'd be putting it again about a nine, nine out of ten, maybe. No, I don't quite want to go nine and a half on this system. I think a nine is a good rating. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Check out our other GV80 content, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.